Yeah, now we are up to part two. So Michael is setting back with the trailer and giving him the appropriate space to range backwards out. And we are set for the next set. We charged up to, I guess, 93%. And we are going back on the highway only now. And let's see what's coming out of that. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Turn around, I'll step in on the, on the other side, please. So we're gonna go on I-17 Thaus at 55 miles per hour in chill mode. And it goes, goes a little bit downhills and I'll give you the figures also for what the elevation is in New River and the elevation at my home. So we are all set. Okay, we're gonna go 55, it's gonna be tough. We know that. So probably they will honk the horn, we don't care. <laughs> so, but we wanna get most efficient longest way possible so it will be it will be 43 miles in total distance yeah 43 miles and we should end up in 74 percent now it's already got a little deduction and we do have air conditioning on it's still 91 and the air conditioning is on 73 okay yeah there was a lot of tesla talk uh, those uh, young guys from North Carolina or being here in, uh, in Texas and then come here so they had just rented out <laughs> from Turo a right. Tesla and drove around with us and we gave them some tips good this first day for them right yeah yeah and we also ran into someone with a used Model X he bought just two days ago yeah he's waiting on the truck which got delayed so he's waiting on the X and his new X got delayed, Played. so he just bought a used X to tide him over until the new ones come out. Yes. Well, you got some experience already with the car, right? Yes, and so. we helped him out. He wanted to extend the distance between his car and the one in front during Navigate on autopilot because he felt he was tailgating too much. So we had to teach him to turn the knob. Oh, you did little, that, yeah. Okay, A little cool. more distance. Yeah, cool. Yeah, the, it is turn the knob on the Model S and X and then the turn here, no, shift left and right. On the uh, three uh, and On the, the three, on the Y. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I remember when I first pick up the three, it was only here that you could plus and minus. You could do it both. Yeah, yeah. Now you can do both, but no, in the beginning. Now they took it away here. Yeah, they took it away here, but they have it now only here at the steering wheel. So it's and the plus and minus your speed. Yeah. While not while on autopilot, you no longer have buttons on the screen. You have to use the right thumb wheel. Yeah, right thumb wheel. And you know, it was not at that right thumb wheel. And I think I made we made a suggestion there. I said, you know. It would be make sense to have it here directly at the thumb wheel if there's a possibility to do that. And actually they did. Yeah. And we are here at New River coming up to Anthem. And then we're going on I-17 and then 303. So it's it's 75 here. We are a little bit crawling with 55. But you know what? The, what the heck? And there is there are two lanes left of us and you can pass us if you want to. So only if you have, I think the Arizona traffic law says, if you are building lines behind you, then you should move to the right. But we are not. Because and we are in the right. We are, we are in the right road. 
all the right lane, we we'll all be good. Okay, let's see what this drive will bring at 55. What we noticed there is we really we pushing the limits there, and because we we a maximum tow weight, uh, we uh, have wind and uh, no sway control and no sway control, and because of that, I think. It's driving very smooth, astonishingly smooth. I think Tesla was pretty conservative if they gave us three and a half thousand pounds for that. Uh, it might be able to even to pull more. So we keep driving 55 here, even people passing us. Here's 45. <laughs> so um, now it's 55. Yeah, now it's 55. So, and I think I'm astonished about how smooth the car is driving. Uh, at that speed with this big trailer behind. Yeah. So it's and it's not only the weight of the trailer but the size of the trailer. The trailer is yeah. fairly long compared to how long the car is. That's true. I think the trailer is 19 feet. And the, the car trailer? is only 11 or so 12. 12, yeah. Yeah. So that that's quite a bit of distance uh, apart. So we have a much longer trailer as the vehicle pulling it. The good thing is that Model Y is also pretty heavy. Yes. Right? So we have a basically a heavier car uh, and uh, a lighter trailer. Lighter trailer. Now European trailers are way lighter, so that's a difference. Right. European trailers are more like mine. Yes, yes, correct. So, and uh, they're, by, they're built uh, aluminium frame uh, fiberglass uh, and some uh, other uh, polyester or plastic elements there. They're not building much with steel frame and uh, wood for the uh, for the house trailers. Yeah, we are now on back on 303. This time we don't go through uh, New River Road. We are just going on 303 the same way back and then we find out. So, you probably know the technical data. So, it, has, it is 75 kilowatt hours maximum battery. But what is the usual, user, the usable capacity? Do you know that? I it's don't. A, it's about, probably about 70 kilowatt, right? I know that the newer Model Y, yeah. it, the brand new Model Y is above 75 battery with 75 usable. Ah, uh, okay. That's a 70. So the newer one has 75 usable. Correct. Yeah, so then it must be probably between 78, close to 80, something like that. Because they usually uh, reserve there at the end. Yeah. So we see the beautiful Arizona as it always is. Nice weather there. Uh, over 30 degree And desert landscape. We are in Mike's nice car. We made it, we are back. And we estimated about 50%, right? Something like that. Based well, on our trip up, uh, yeah, we, yes. we guessed 50%. We guessed on the 50%. Way down. We, we should come up with 74, but that's not true. We know that because that is on the regular consumption. And that's about the trailer now. And hey, this is how the trip, trip looked like. So we are, we charge up to 90. I think 97% or so. 96. 96. And then we are on 49 now. And how much did we drive? So we drove... Total, uh, total two directions. Two directions, 93 miles, used 60 kilowatt, 647, 647 miles. That means, okay, that since the last charge, we have 635 watts per mile, 71 kilowatt, and 48 0.9 miles driven was I think it was a little bit longer and this was since the last charge it was one hour two and uh, 635 watt per mile uh, the good thing can you go to the original to the first one the good thing is 600 uh, 647 watt per mile for 60 kilowatt is not bad when you later the newest model Y is what you're coming up will have uh, nine, uh, 75 kilowatt available. 75 available kilowatt. That means 
that will be 25% more than this, basically 93 miles, 25% more on it. If you right? really have 100% battery, you can, you you can, can tow a 19 foot trailer that is the maximum rated weight Yes. for about 110 to 120 miles. 110, 20, 120 miles, easily. Yeah, and then you can go to the next RV park and charge it there for free again. <laughs> so, okay, and uh, what I would like to say, Mike, thank you very much. You have an awesome car, and you have you can reach Mike as well. I uh, uh, I give you uh, his information if you needed to write to info at uh, teslaowners.us if Mike wants that, right? So he has cool appliances there uh, and you saw the car all around there uh, very nice maintained a uh, model y and i think he likes his car yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> so and he tried he tried with other electric cars but it was not possible this was the best thing especially he, he tows his trailers all around the country and uh, and he has he has a good time there he's out in the wilderness there or on uh, camping spots and uh, I think he has fun with uh, doing that and it's possible Model Y smaller trailer smaller trailer is better more uh, uh, more wind cheating or a bigger trailer like this one and it's can about the same the smaller trailer is about 130 135 miles range yeah the big trailer maximum capacity is 120 yeah it's not that much different it's not it, Guys, it's not that much difference and uh, uh, what we want to say, thank you for watching us, thank you for watching Mike and me and pull the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if not already done so and we have more to explore with Teslas and trailers for the next time. Bye bye. Yeah.